Italian subs. That's what we're gonna call them. Look at Murder Shows, y'all. He got a, like a full, what is this, 18 inch? 12 inch. No, that couldn't be no sub. That is an 18 inch. This here is about an 8 inch. I have my cauliflower chips, pickle, yummy delicious. What's up, Yummy Biters? Welcome back to another episode of Yummy Bites TV. Y'all, we are having homemade Italian subs. That's what we're calling it, right? Homemade Italian subs. Is it? What uh, this, this is? is uh, this is homemade Cosby Show Hogan's. Because ever since I've seen that episode of the uh, Cosby Show when he was making that Hogan. Yeah. And he was trying to watch the show and somebody kept messing him up. And then Theo came, took the sandwich in the end. I've been wanting to build one of these my whole I life. Barely I barely freaking finding. remember. You remember that? Well, that was one of my favorite episodes. I wanted that sandwich. <laughs> and now I got it. Exactly. All right, y'all. So uh, we're going to tell y'all what's on it once we start. I have some um, uh, nacho cheese uh, cauliflower uh, tortilla chips uh, by Pickles. And I have some orange flavored water. Uh -huh. Yes, y'all. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, and I'm having kettle cooked jalapeno chips. I don't know if y'all can see that. And I'm drinking strawberry lemonade Kool-Aid, baby. Word! Yeah. <laughs> okay, come on. Mm, that's, God. that's the delicious food. Amen. Amen. Mm. Okay, can you tell him what's on it? Because he's oh, the one who bought all the meat. We got some... some uh, all this is boar's head meats. We got some black forest ham. Uh -huh. Some Genoa salami, mm -hmm. some sandwich pepperoni, Word. some uh, some type of ham. Supposed to have provolone some, cheese. Yeah, and bacon. Bacon, y'all. Oh my god. Supposed to have turkey, but they didn't have it. I have red onions, uh, tomato, and lettuce with this uh, <laughs> lemon, like garlic lemon, like aioli that I found in my refrigerator, y'all. Oh my god, it tastes like um like the grinder. Uh, like salad dressing. Oh my god, look it's so good. Whose sandwich look better, y'all? You, you know what? <laughs> he did it on purpose because I was like, we gonna ask him whose sandwich looked the best. And I was like, but I can't eat no whole sandwich like that, and I didn't want to make one and waste food. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, up. I'm just gonna do this. Mm. But y'all already know mine's is better. Mine's is better. Okay. <laughs> Come on, let's take a, on a thumbnail. You want to leave it on the plate? It look good on the plate. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. Hold up. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Waiting for nothing. Hold up. What'd you say? <laughs> what did you She's say? Waiting long enough. <laughs> 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 oh, mine's is dripping. Dripping with juice, baby. Okay. How am I going to bite it? <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay. Uh -huh. oh. Lord have mercy. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Mmm. Uh-uh. -oh. Barbecue. Mm. Delicious. Mm hmm. You know what I hate when well, I see some girls do? I actually just did it. Eat with your hair in your face. Oh my God, and then they be eating it and kept and keep doing this. And, oh my God, I can't. So I'm gonna pull them back. 
because I don't <clears> want to eat my hair again. How disgusting. With my wig. <laughs> oh, my tomatoes are falling out. This is so good. Mm -mm. Y'all, we took the bread out. Like the, what do you call it? Dug the middle out. Yeah. Mm. Mm-mm. <clears throat> oh, that's a mouthful, ain't it? <laughs> mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's gonna be messy. Mm. Mm-hmm. So, did y'all see Chappelle, um, Dave Chappelle on Saturday Night Live? <laughs> we weren't supposed to be talking, but I mean, that's like, if, that's what's popping right now. And it was on, like, he did that on Saturday, so we are super late with it. You know what I'm saying? I didn't hear about him being on there until yesterday. Mm. When did you hear? They just recommended it to me today. I didn't know nothing about yeah. it. Yeah. I ain't know nothing. I was still funny as hell. What'd you get? I was funny as hell. I've been laughing my ass now. Mmm. 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 What? Did I see you smell something? No, I was looking at it. Oh. <laughs> mm. I guess he, they proved his, his opening to his monologue. Remember, he said he learned the two words you can't say in succession. The and the J word. Okay. And, and, he, and they got on him. <laughs> Didn't Y'all, the ADL, they trying to cancel. Well, the, who is it? The commissioner of the ADL came, came out with a statement. And he, uh, like. You know, you know what he said that threw me off? What? This, 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 and that, we got to get on the same page because I don't know where they at. He said, why does our, why does our, why does our pain cause uh, uh, you know why do like why do why why does our misery or our pain or something cause applause or something like that? And dude, what are you talking about? The only thing people keep saying is that y'all running the entertainment business. That's it. That's it. <laughs> but that is somehow, it. Somehow they're they're saying that it it causes violence. I don't. They trying to string some shit together that you can't right. do that. That you're uh, making shit up and you you can't do that. I just don't see how. I still don't see. I've heard people explain it, and I still don't. I still don't see how. That's uh. You know what I'm saying? Any semantic like I just I don't see. That's it. crazy. And I'm, I'm getting. They throw away that. They throw around that word. Mm-hmm. And it just started, like, I didn't even know what that was. Most people didn't even know what that was. Because we What is a Semite? We don't be using those kind of words in our daily lives, like. And it seems like it, they, if you just say something they don't like, they say it's, they say it's that. Mm-hmm. I, I don't, I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. But we're gonna get to the bottom of this. Hold on. What is a Semite? What the fuck wrong with you? <laughs> they don't even wanna. What is a Semite? Am I saying it wrong? Do you need, um, 
It's like it don't want to finish spelling it out. Oh, it don't it don't want to have nothing to do with the phone. Ain't want to have yeah. nothing to do with That's it. That's crazy. I had to type there it, it in. Like really, I had to type it in. It just said it mm -hmm. said semi. Mm. A member of any of the peoples who speak or spoke a Semitic language. Oh, excuse me. Mm. What are Semitic languages? What are some medical languages? This thing is... <laughs> What are Semitic languages? I cut my finger, y'all. Trying to cut some tomatoes in my hand. Don't ask me why I was doing yeah, that. Don't tell nobody. Else, don't. <laughs> <laughs> do you think that black people are not like black people do that? You, they, Where do you think I got it be. from? I've seen people put a tomato in their hand and freaking. Why would you do that when it? we have cutting boards? Why would you do that? Obviously, like. Some people just don't feel like going to go and look for a cutting board. They just want to hurt. It literally and... was had one out. It was right there. I did not have a cutting board. I had a plate oh. out. Yeah, that's and crazy. And it was filled up already. <clears throat> anyway. <clears throat> Cut tomato in your hand. God bless. Woo, boy. <laughs> I read one of y'all's comments. He was like, she was like, I ain't rallying. What did she say? This is not exactly what you said, but it was like, this is kind of, you know, summing up what you said. She said she ain't doing nothing. She said Kanye ain't did nothing for her. Kyrie ain't did nothing for her. She not canceling nobody. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of people who feel like that. But she not saying that she ain't going to stand with, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. For the cause, but yeah, she said they ain't paying her bills. <laughs> mm. But I got to get down to the bottom of what this semitic stuff and semite is all about because, well, from what I'm hearing out here, is that we're semites. You know what I'm saying? We're mm -hmm. semitic. That semitic is black people. You know because what I'm saying? semite means. It says something about they speak these certain languages, and then I gotta Google what the language is like. Yeah. I, it's a rabbit hole I gotta go down. What does Semite mean? I just try to go down the rabbit hole. Why did you say that? I'm tell, it's gonna tell you the people who speak these uh, Semitic languages. Then you gotta look up what that is. And you gotta research whether, what those where those places are. You know, but I'm sure when, I'm, when you do all of that, you're gonna find black people. Semite. A member of any of the people who speak or spoke a Semitic language, including a particular, um, the Jew, in, including in particular the Jews and the Arabs. <laughs> Semitic people. Um, and it says ethnicity at the bottom. It says uh, Semite, Semitic peoples, or Semitic cultures is an um, obsolete term for an ethnic, cultural, or racial group. The terminology is now largely unused outside the grouping Semitic languages in, logis in logistics. And that's what I was saying. Like, we don't use this, you know what I'm saying? These but words. I use it. It's used to shut down anybody who wants to speak up about certain things. It seems as though they don't want certain things brought up, like, you know? Yeah. And how's that anti? We're just speaking, we're just stating what we observing. Mm -hmm. How the hell is stating what, come on, man, look. <laughs> Let's talk about um, Dave Chappelle. <laughs> oh, uh, uh, uh. -oh. What do you like about the show? Yeah, it was funny. I love Dave. He's a genius. I like how he threw out the N-word. Did y'all hear that on Saturday Night Live? I didn't even think that that was allowed. 
But, but we think point. that he did it on purpose. That's the point. He can freely say that word, which is, you know, supposed to be this bad word or whatever. Mm -hmm. And it's cool. But, you know, you say something, not even, nothing offensive toward this certain group of people. And it's, and, and it's, and it's a problem. They're on Dave Chappelle right it's now, It's a double standard in this world. The ADL. It is. It's a double standard. That I think that, um, you know, people are trying to cancel him after this show, y'all. Like, he's a comedian. And everybody is literally riding with him because I ain't seen nobody talking ill of his performance. Everybody loved it. You know what I'm saying? They love how, how much of a genius he is, how he mixes comedy and he social can awareness. teach you something. He did, like, he did, he did, he did I throw love a the way he though. did. He did. He threw. He when, threw a boot kick up in there. One quick boot kick, and he like moved when, on. I, I forgot. I forgot. When, when nobody had said nothing, when the audience was no, not that. Quiet. That was funny, but no, like you know, he like it was one boot stomp up in there. I forgot what it was, and I said to myself, "Was that what they got mad about?" I thought they got mad when um he was like, "You know what I mean?" <laughs> nobody said anything. Oh. Oh, when he was, I think when he was saying about when he was in Hollywood, and it was it's a lot of them. I mean, no, that, not 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 that. Like it was in that in that little. Um, he said, what did he say? Something about Kyrie not being there for the Holocaust or something like that. Not oh, he said something about him. Schindler's List, and I don't know what the hell Schindler's List is. That's I a bet movie. You that's what. That's a movie. Pissed him off. You got about, something right there. Um, about uh, the Holocaust. You didn't know that? No, I don't know what that is. Mm. Yeah, we learned that in school. <laughs> didn't y'all? Oh, yeah, there's a lot of sounds. Yeah. <laughs> Trying to show out. You can't even <laughs> eat it. Let me eat the rest of this later. Lord. And you know what? I mean, it's good, but it don't have nothing on like getting a firehouse up or something. I don't, I don't know what it is. Mine is delicious. Yeah, this ain't got nothing. I mean, it don't taste like the one at firehouse up. Mm -hmm. Mine is good. You did all that and it ain't even good. It ain't really, it's really not that, all mm -mm -mm. that. It look better than it tastes, trust me. It's cheaper, and it's cheaper getting them at um, yeah. firehouse ups, trust and believe. I can imagine how much you spend on all this meat. Like a little sixty seven dollars. Oh, see. I was like, when he was up there doing it, doing his uh, stand up, I was like, they gonna cancel him. <laughs> Yeah. But I was like, the people are not going to let Chappelle, it's, I mean, Dave Chappelle get canceled. Like, It's time that the people how could that happen? cancel these businesses and or corporations and entities. It's time that we cancel them, yeah. those who think that they can cancel us. Mm -hmm. How about we cancel you? Exactly. Because, you know, all of these all these entertainers and stuff, they are they working for... And get you know they are making all these other people rich. How about we step away and make our yeah, own self exactly. rich? Exactly. Let them, let them, let them put their own people out and make money off their back. Let's stop making. Let's stop putting money in other people's pockets. Let's put money in our own pocket. People like us that got our best interests in mind. You know, if every basketball player, every football player, every 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 person with a record deal, and if all of them I walked don't... away tomorrow, all this bullshit come to a stop. And there wouldn't be no more all this power and all this. Where, you, where your power gonna come from then? Yeah, exactly. Because you're pimping the people. Who you gonna pimp then? But it's weird because Kyrie is still suspended, and they said indefinitely. It's what I heard. Um, he needs to turn up and be the spokesperson for this shit across the world mm -hmm. and go a hundred with it now. Yep. And he, he wasn't even doing nothing before. He just tweeted out a movie. Yep. That sparked. Press conference. That's why they mad because it sparked 
Oh my God. Like it sparked a larger, it, it sparked a conversation period. You know what I'm saying? It sparked people's interest. Mm -hmm. and to the masses. Know. It went from some exactly. underground stuff that only like people mm -hmm. in the know know about. To, yeah, so that's why it was it. still up. And, you know, nobody was talking about it. Nobody knew it was there. That's why they're so mad at Curry. And mm -hmm. they were like, nobody else knew about it until you freaking let them know. Mm -hmm. he brought to How the dare story. you? You know? Mm -hmm. They real mad at that. You notice how they never mentioned the name of the movie? I think they brought it, brought it up. When they talk, like I Who literally, didn't? Who didn't I had it? to Google it to find out the movie, Hebrews the Negro. Mm -hmm. I had to guess Google. What movie did Kyrie Irving tweet out that got everybody mad? Because oh, every time somebody say said it. something, they would just say this anti-Semitic movie. They would yeah, never say what it was. Right. They don't want you to yep. go and watch it. <laughs> that is so true. They don't want to promote it. Can't even say the name. <clears throat> but it got promoted though. Baby. It's a number one. Number one so didn't say anything bad about those people. No, it ain't said nothing about them. Mm -mm. What is that over there doing? <laughs> Give me that. I'm trying to wash the dishes. <laughs> oh, my bad. I'm <laughs> you're like, you're struggling too. What? At least I, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm. Woo. I made a smaller one, but it's still a lot. Look at you. Know you. you haven't even it eaten half of cheese. it yet. Well, so I got down to the cheese part. Am I in the cheese yet? You're supposed to put one piece like Yeah, I didn't want to put too much cheese on it. Mm. <sighs> Delicious! Delicious. He's gonna try to wash dishes. Really? Yeah. Are Jackie washing the dishes? Oh, excuse me. <clears throat> So what else is going on? Is it? I mean, pretty much. That's what everybody's been talking about. Dave Chappelle. <clears throat> Dave Chappelle. Can can we get what what the ADL um guy said? Cause you you looked it up didn't you, earlier. <clears throat> that was so like ballsy of uh, Saturday Night Live to have Dave Chappelle on. Like, I wonder what made them even want to do that. You know what I'm saying? Like, didn't they risk a lot? Do niggas, they know how Dave Chappelle is. He gonna say what he wanna say. This is what he said. <clears throat> we shouldn't expect Dave Chappelle to serve as society's moral compass, but disturbing to see uh, not just normalize, but popularize anti-Semitism, he wrote. Why are Jewish sensitivities denied or diminished at almost every turn? Why does our trauma trigger applause? Did he make a joke about <laughs> Jewish trauma? No. There not were no juke all. jokes about Jewish trauma, dog. Like they, 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 this is disillusion. What fucking world are you in? Oh, wait a minute. That's okay. He might be talking about when he said, "Well, why don't y'all?" Um, uh, oh my God! Caption. Um, uh, what do you call it? Schindler's List. And I told you Schindler's List was, it was a movie. The one joke about, that I didn't even get. I didn't even get it. Yeah, I literally didn't get it either. But that's probably what. 
And, and that's what I said. I joke. said, well, maybe that was that. But the thing is, is that it's Dave Chappelle, joke. amongst other comedians, talk about every race. I've heard, you know what I'm saying? Everybody talk about some of everybody. Freaking, um, everybody, huh? Like white, Mexican, black, Chinese. Yeah, everybody, 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 gets about. About. everybody gets talked yeah, about. Everybody gets talked about. Everybody. And nobody's above getting like, joked on. Are we doing when, in that today's now? Society, are we, they, that's where we at now. Are we censoring the comedians too? I guess so. I guess they're human just like us. I guess they get censored too. Yeah. So I guess we are not going to be able because. There's no what, clause what in say? this world of censorship. There's no clause for comedians. Exactly. Um, um, Dave Chappelle, what did he say? He said that he doesn't really like. No, he said. What did he say about being censored and he, he doesn't really like. Um, doing this in front of um an audience anymore because of the cens censorship. Remember at the end when he when he was saying must, you must have been you was talk doing a lot of talking. I must have missed what that you, part. You were there going <laughs> live. We were sitting there just you watching was, it silent. Yeah, I don't remember that part. Oh my god. Anyway, he was saying how he doesn't really like <clears throat> doing it anymore lately, y'all, because of um the censorship. Like he has to watch what he says, and he doesn't like that. He don't like that. So he said, that "Hopefully, that's not the last time we're gonna see him. It might be the last because you know what I'm saying. He literally he, he expressed need, whoever, whatever platform can ban him from the platform. He doesn't need them. Dave How? Chappelle can start a website and broadcast his show from the damn website and people in, in charge a fee. That's true. You know, like come but on. But does he want to do that? No, he probably doesn't." This whole work, this this is what needs to be done. That's what, yeah, people don't want, just people are uncomfortable. Remember like when you wanted to move here and I wanted to stay there because we was comfortable? And yeah, I wanted oh, to yeah. save more money, but you know, you yeah. be comfortable. You don't really want to uproot and then just switch everything up because you're comfortable. But it, it yeah. should need to be switched up. There, there don't need to be no damn system out here that we are dependent upon and we kind of watch our mouth because they're going to cancel us. Mm -hmm. Man, we need to get the hell off to whatever system this is, whatever platform mm -hmm. like, that got that kind of power over us. We need to step off of it. And Dan Chappelle said that's why he didn't... Well, he said he didn't want to accept a shoe deal because he said as soon as... Um, he says he something, says something that they, they don't, don't like, like, they was going to take a shoe deal. He said that's why he didn't do it. I didn't even know there was an offer in him a shoe deal. And then, Chappelle. And then that's when his comedic <laughs> genius kicked in and he Dem was Chappelle. like, and now look at Kanye walking around uh, barefooted with his chain at, you know, he connected right. the joke yeah. about, yeah. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. Yeah, Kanye said only uh, millionaires wear chains. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> billionaires don't wear chains. Mm. <clears throat> Mm. I'm not gonna make it to the same stress. Regardless of what the people, you know, what the powers that be want, people want to laugh. Mm -hmm. People need to. They need, need to laugh. Laughter is medicine. Oh my gosh! Start with mental health. Like it's necessary in this climate. It really is. For real. That's why people, uh, you know, love Cause me. Because we can't smile about too much other stuff. Like, what else is there? Like, it's nothing to smile about. Nothing. Like, y'all wonder why we don't be talking about happy go lucky stuff. Like, where's the happy go lucky at? Please let me know where it is so I can find it. Because. You'd have to literally shut off from the world and just, you know, just live your own little life. Or unless I'm talking about watching a fictitious show or something on TV. I guess that would be nice to hear. I don't know. But everybody got to be watching the daggone show to even know what I'm talking about. <laughs> we are saying. He didn't he washed out that. a bowl. <laughs> you washed a bowl out? <laughs> he washed out a bowl. You gonna, you gonna wash all the dishes? Anyway. So what now? What was it saying? I can't remember. Um, oh, what was it talking about? I forgot to. Oh my God, that is ridiculous. <laughs> oh, 
I can't find nothing happy. You know. Thanksgiving is coming up. What y'all cooking? What you looking for um, to eat? My mom's dressing. I knew you were going to say that. <clears throat> dressing. Why I saw this dude on TikTok uh, cooking, um, what, what do you call it? Seafood cornbread dressing. I thought it was just called seafood dressing. Is it not just seafood dressing? I mean... What? what he's cooking is what he's cooking, and what my family cook is what they cook. It ain't the same thing. Is it not the same thing? Like, I, I mean, I don't know. It's a particular seafood uh, casserole. I think it might be called a seafood casserole. Who knows what oh. it's called? It comes from a cookbook from like back, you know, years and years ago. Mm. Might not even have no cornbread in it. it That's what I was know. thinking. I'm like, I don't think it has cornbread yeah, in it. Yeah, so, you know. Mmm, excuse me. Anyway, is anybody making one? Yeah, yeah she making it. Mm. Oh yeah. And why y'all give me this? this, this uh, I can't even talk. The dessert. That's an insult. How's that an insult? The dessert. Did you don't you like making your the, a famous banana pudding? I think. What did I make last? Oh, I made a dessert last time. So what you want to cook? I don't know. What, what you want? To I'll make the dessert. Whatever. I haven't made a um banana pudding in so long. I hope it turned out right. Ice cream. Oh fuck! What? I thought it was some food. <laughs> Yeah, I did at first too. <laughs> I was like, what? He went fix him a bowl of food? I thought he no. had chicken in there. <laughs> no, that was ice cream. <laughs> so he rinsed him out a bowl. Washed him to a bowl to get some ice cream. Okay. <laughs> um something happened. Oh, did y'all hear about um, the guy who, uh, I believe he shot how many people? Three or four people on, on Arizona State University uh, campus today? That dude, that's crazy. Now, what do you know about it? Because I think that... Um, Somebody, his daddy was talking, saying about, he had something about his, he had been telling him about, uh, he was getting bullied, like something. Like, he used to play for the football team. Oh, he don't play no more. No, and then there was something was going on about some hazing, like something had happened with some hazing with him, and it got like uh, nothing happened about it or whatever. So I think whatever the hazing incident was, because that probably was be dealing with them, them them three dudes that he killed. You know, they must have had something to do with it. He whatever it was, he, he wasn't. It must have wasn't nothing. He, yeah, good. it was, was something serious. Wow, and now he done... <laughs> Messed up his life. He could have, what he told his daddy, but what? I guess, could nobody really do anything? I mean, he's in college. What is his daddy going to do, really? Yeah, exactly. You know, and then he made that decision on his own. That is so messed up. I mean, like, what did they do? It Violate his manhood? Like, what the I, hell could they have done? That's what, like, I don't even know. <clears throat> I don't even know. Because why would he get that mad? I know, right? It must, must have been some type of manhood violation. It had to have been some type of something that he didn't want to tell nobody mm -hmm. that, you know. He probably didn't tell his dad everything. Well, he just told his dad he was getting bullied. God bless. You got to watch how you treat people. What What is his name? Um, student who shot... Three people on Arizona State campus. It's crazy how it didn't make uh, big news or whatever. Exactly. Well, they needed some time, I guess, because... Oh, this was... This, this was three... This was two days ago. Okay, so it said... Um, <clears throat> police have in custody a University of Virginia student and ex-UVA football player suspected of fatally... Uh, unaliving three current players and 
Three football players shot shot dead and two people wounded at the University of uh, Virginia police say. The suspect, Christopher Darnell Jones Jr., faces three charges of second-degree murder and three counts of using a handgun in the commission of a felony. UVA Police uh, Chief Timothy Longo Sr. told reporters Monday morning as a housing... What does that say? Oh, out, as an hours-long manhunt came to an end and authorities um, lifted a campus lockdown order. I can't even see the rest of it. Look, this is him, y'all. That's him. Maybe because it's black on black. That's why they're not reporting on it. You know, black man killed another black man. Well, that's usually what that. be in the news. No, it black man killed another black man. Don't never make the news. They don't care about that. One of the two injured students was identified as Michael Hollins, according to um, Andrew Martin, the head football coach. What? Okay, that's what I heard. The head football coach at the University Lab School in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Hollins is a junior at UVA and is a running back for school's football team, according to the team's roster. What? Oh, man, these are the people that were killed. <sighs> Rest in peace to them. Oh, man. That's messed up. Oh, they little young black faces. We lost three talented and bright young men, William said. We will <clears throat> never see what their impact on the world would have been. But we will never forget their impact on us. Wow. Mm -hmm. What is wrong with you? Why do you keep moving around like that? Mm -hmm. You full? Mm -hmm. How many bites you had? About four? <laughs> How many bites did you have? I wasn't counting my bites. I hope Lady is hungry when she come home, honey, because that's a lot of food. You think one of them kids outside to eat it? I bet you they would. Eat what? That sandwich. The rest of the sandwich? Uh-huh. Bro. I bet you they would. I bet you anything. <laughs> what kids? <laughs> <laughs> Out in the street. What do you mean? They play in the street. Which ones? You don't? <laughs> <laughs> I don't love them. What do you mean? Shut up. Anyway, so... Y'all be careful on these jagging. Man, these college campuses, they're, they're, they, you I thought they were made for the students to be safe. Like, I remember when, like, college campuses were, like, the safest place ever. What was safe about the college campus? Anybody can just we drive never into have the nothing. college campus. I, we used to do it all the time. Like, I know that, but still, I mean, just, I don't know. Yeah. It just seemed like nothing ever happened at college. Back in the day, I'm talking about back in the day. Okay. That's just because nobody was doing that. College ain't nothing secure. It was just like all fun. Like college was fun. You know, it was never dangerous. It's a different world we're living in now. That I stuff remember, can pop off anywhere. It just once something had happened. I remember, when was it? I think it was like my last year. No. Anyway, it was one of the years where I was at TSU. It was this guy, he was in a band. I remember. <laughs> Oh my God, he was from New Orleans. And some guy on the football team was messing with him, bullying him. Some guy on the football team. And he was like a really quiet guy, whatever. He played, I believe, the drums or something in the band. And I remember we was on campus. I think I was leaving my last class, about to go home. And then I just seen all these people. And I seen this really stocky dude, um, uh, running through um, the yard, and um, and then it was a skinny guy running after him with a big old knife, nail, y'all, a knife. <laughs> and I'm not sure if he caught him. I That's believe. What I'm talking about. I believe what? <clears throat> that is crazy. 
Yeah, that's that what is crazy. And I, huh, I believe he's yeah. in jail. I mean, you underestimate somebody from Louisiana until you get cut. I believe. <laughs> I believe he's he is in jail and um. Yeah, oh, that was, with him? I believe that he did um stab him. I believe he did. Does anybody remember that back um on TSU's campus? I can barely remember, hey, but I think he did. I think he because they they arrested him. Yes, that's what need to happen to all bullies. But he's okay. The football player, he didn't die or anything. Thank God. I mean, they whisked past me. It was in the wind, like blew me. I was like, damn, they was going. No, they was going fast. So both of them. Dude was running for his life. Yeah. That's what you call running for your life. And the other dude that was running, like he, it was like he was relentless. Like I, I, I had saw, I saw his face. I was like, oh my he god, like it. he's he really, like, yeah, yeah. Hmm. That was crazy. I bet you that guy didn't bully nobody else after that. I bet you he didn't either. Oh, that shit got stuck. But yeah, you, yeah. Sometimes you, you don't know who you bullying. Okay. Mm hmm. So don't be one of them. I'm trying to. Was I ever a bully? I was. I was bullied, and I was a bully too. Um, for a short amount of time though, it wasn't that long. But were you a bully? You was never, never. You ain't never Did, I, bully I, I, nobody. I told you when, when my mom put me in that white school, like the first day of school or whatever. Mm. The thing on the playground to do was trip the, the guy who was, you Everybody know what I'm saying? Everybody did that, yeah. No, he was like, he had, you know what I'm saying? Special needs, that's all you gotta say. Okay, so that, they was, you know. So he was special needs. Yeah, and they was tripping him and spitting water on him. And they like chasing him all around the playground, tripping him, spitting water on him and stuff. So I like fell in line. I was second grade, I fell in line with the shit. Okay, you was just For doing a couple what they of was doing. Exactly. I feel mm, the line. Mm, mm. And then I guess. That don't even sound like you. It don't. It don't. <laughs> and it was me and it was this other black dude. And, you know, we when we, like, started playing, like, I guess we like the second or third day or whatever. When we got involved, I guess, you know, like, we was chirping the hell out of them. You know, like, they was, like, making them stumble. But Are we you was making them, me? you know. Y'all was, was doing too much, basically. <laughs> exactly. That don't make you know what no that sense. People always turn the notch up a little bit. And then that's mm -hmm. when, you know, then, then me and him was the only ones got in trouble. Because when, when they asked him, like, when he went to tell or whatever, like, who did it? Yeah. He can't point out the, the white boys because they all, how you going to tell it? They all looking the same. Yeah. But it was easy to point out me and Dwayne. Like, boom, it was them. You and Dwayne. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. You I was like, damn, I remember packing my little stuff up and go to the office and I'm just thinking. How wrong this was. Like, well, I just got here and it, I'm just doing what everybody else is doing. Now, I'm mm -hmm. in trouble. Yep. That was crazy. And I'm looking across. The, and they had Dwayne set. It was weird. I was all the way on this side of the class. Dwayne was all the way on the other side of the class. We wanted to be by each other bad as hell. Because, of course, we're the only black boys in the class. But they got us all the way separated. And I'm looking at him get his stuff. I'm getting my stuff. And I was like, I couldn't put my finger on it. But mm -hmm. I knew something wasn't right at that moment. What? Now, what happened? <laughs> Because we was the only ones that got in trouble. It was a black what thing. What happened to y'all though? Oh, I don't... What happened? I probably got, I don't know, suspended for a day or so. I don't know. Did you get in trouble? I don't remember. I don't think so. We got in trouble any time a teacher would call or just anything. Was the teacher even calling them letters? Because the teacher wasn't really calling. I mean, immediate whooping, like, God, God, you can barely explain yourself. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> you know what? I used to, I remember my flashback and I, I used to plug people's ears on the bus and, and shit I like that. <laughs> I knew it. I remember doing that. I knew it. You know, this shit would be funny as hell. Plug somebody's ear and they don't even, they don't even turn around. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. <laughs> Hilarious, bro. And then one little, one little dude, he went, you know, he didn't ever say nothing. We picking on him, laughing at him all the way till he get off the bus. And then. All the way till he got off the bus. That is. Oh, oh my tell you, we got God. off the bus. Look, tell you, we got off like the bus. That. We got off the bus first. And then next thing, you know, about 20, 30 minutes later, knocking on the door. Who is it? Him and his daddy. He didn't want to tell his daddy, now nah, I'm in trouble because now his daddy didn't came told my daddy. Lord have mercy. Please fight your you own battles. Come right. home and Did you mess daddy. with him the next day? Yeah, I probably couldn't. 
Of course, that's man. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's on. right. He did. He did exactly right. Tell you know, me all, he, all he had to do was turn that's around right. and say, "Hey, stop plucking me." That's all he would have had to say. Whatever. No, for real. You would have kept doing it no. because you thought it was funny. No, it was funny that he wasn't taking up for himself. Are you kidding me? <laughs> like that's what would be funny. All you got to do is take up for yourself, and people leave you alone. They mess with you because you let them. That's why people did me like that. Yeah. I wouldn't say anything. It, and, 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 they just kept on and kept on and kept on. I was like, well, if I just ignore them, ignore them well, then it'll stop. Mm -mm. No. It, it got worse. worse and worse. I got bullied for a whole entire year. <laughs> and I never said anything. Never said nothing, y'all. I still have that problem to this day, honestly. I hold a lot of stuff in. I don't say anything. And um, mm. When you don't take up for yourself Sometimes it's worse in school, for me. <laughs> You become the fun thing to do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I definitely was. Oh, I, I'm just flashing back. Like, you know, Joker might be, you might be sitting over here. Joker's sitting right here, reach over and pluck his ear, and he turn around and look at the person right there, and you looking out the window and shit. Like, dumb shit like that. <laughs> See, I didn't things do that. boys do. I didn't do that. Mm -mm. Mean little boys. Anyway, time to go. That dog is 502. Now you didn't miss the drop out, though. <sighs> yeah, I did. And I can't even go to. How long is um the drop out for uh, Amazon? Have no idea. How long is they open? I think till five. Or is it six? Anyway. So, I hope that you guys enjoy this video. Make sure y'all following me on TikTok, Instagram. Uh, check out my Amazon storefront linked in my link tree, and all, everything else is down there. Check it all out. Uh, follow me on my family vlog channel at Young Vice TV Behind the Scenes. All links are in the description box. Mm. Excuse me. Mm. You have anything inside? Uh. Yeah, man, follow the truth. Don't follow these lies out here. The world full of lies. Boy, these fork tongue devils out here, boy, they, 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 everything that you out here believing is a lie. So follow the truth. Find the truth and follow the truth and stop following lies. Word. And for the people who stay to the end of the video, <clears throat> what is Murder Show's favorite food to eat? One of them. What's it? How many favorite foods do you have to eat? I mean, shit, I, you know, I got two favorite meals for sure that I I know how to say. What's my two favorite meals? My like that. Do you know I asked? If anybody this is know my that, last giveaway. If, if anybody know my two favorite meals, you deserve something. It, the, um, I asked in my last giveaway, I asked him, I said, my two favorite um, Mexican restaurants. And somebody literally got it. Really? I could not believe it. Yes, that let me know they a yummy biter, honey. Because if somebody know my two favorite meals, I swear to God. I can. I know one of your favorite. Yeah, you don't even know my two favorite meals. I bet. I don't know. A big child. Well, I can't say it in this video because we yeah. didn't ask them to see if you know after we finish the video. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please wait. Is it gonna be one thing or is it gonna be a meal? So they a meal. The meal consists. So two meals. Yeah, two meals. Okay. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please do what? Thumbs up this video. Subscribe if you haven't already for everyday videos. Everyday videos. Hey, uh, 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 uh. Hey, 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 hey. Uh, uh. And we will see you guys on tomorrow. Peace. Y'all come back now. You hear? Bye, y'all.